So get into Buima here, eh? Each of our candidates will pick a number and the questions will be flashed on screen. Alright? So let us now start our question and answer portion. Starting with candidate number 13. Miss Micaela Ivon Arida. It will always be the discrimination 
to the people around my community, especially the LGBTQIA.
patu patuloy sa bahay na naniniwala ako na isa sa power ang makakapagligtas sa poverty ay ang disiplina lamang ng tao dahil discipline is a must and kung ikaw ay isang disiplinadong tao ma maaari nating malukas ang kahit anong problema ang kinakaharap natin yun lamang po at karami sa lamang Thank you very much, Ms. Jocelyn Andrea Briss of Del Carmen. Yeah, the last two finalists for tonight, let us now call in our next candidate, candidate number 12, Ms. Myrene Gajardo of Bola Shot Dogs. Hello everyone, my name is Rafa Bella, you're reigning Mr. Canada. As of 2021, according to the United Nations, Philippines is ranked as number 55 with the lowest educational system. In connection with that, here's your question. What would you say is the biggest problem facing our educational system today and why? Once again, my question is, what would you say is the biggest problem facing our educational system today and why? All right, so what is the biggest problem facing our education today and why? So since the Philippines is ranked 55 in 2021, um, education, so where is education system? Besides pandemic, I think the classroom are also like with all the poverty happening in education. I think students should also be provided with proper instruments they need, like laptop and different <laughs> and other materials they need as of now. And I think you also need to support your children. They are really having different issues right now and I think that is one of the reasons as to why they have low education and as well as working. Working is also one of the problems. They, they can't really support themselves so they really need to find something they can depend on, they can afford to. They need something to afford and that is why parents should also support them willingly and that would help lessen the low, low students in education. That is all. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Ms. Myron Gajardo of Bella Shundress. And first class, we have the lead, is our candidate number nine, from Bella Shundress, Patricia Villoquinta. Alaminos Laguna 2022. What three qualities do women possess to make a notable difference in the world? Again, can you repeat the question, please? Hello, everyone. I'm Alexa Gabriel, your Miss Teen Canada Petite 2019-2020. Asking a question for Miss Teen Universe Alaminos Laguna 2022. What three qualities do women possess to make a notable difference in the world? Alright, so what three qualities should a woman possess? Okay, sorry I didn't catch the last part. Thank you. Again, you said a question, right? Okay. The quality should have the Miss T. Alaminos Universe 2022. First, should it she should be confident with herself. Just like my advocacy, it's not about the outside appearance. It's about how you 
will represent and what do you feel about when you win this title? And that will be all. Thank you. Thank you very much from Brother Shantrex, Miss Patricia Yokinda, our candidate number eight. Thank you. 